Welcome! How do you split text into two or more columns in Excel? Today I will show you one way to divide the text without formula using delimiters and the text to columns wizard. To split this product column into separate product and colour columns. First we'll place the new colour column in column B and in a separate example I will insert the split columns after the sold column. Please keep watching to the end where I demonstrate the limitations of the text to columns function. Let's begin. My first step is to look at the contents of the column to understand the format of the data. Here I can see that this symbol which I'll refer to as a dash has been used to separate the product name from the colour. The method I'm about to use to split the text is very easy to do. However, it's also very easy for unexpected results to occur. For this reason, I usually make a copy of my spreadsheet before I begin. I'll discuss more of the risks as we go. In scenario one, I would like the end result to be product color sold. So I insert a new column between product and sold. We need to be very careful as Excel does not automatically insert columns to take the result of the split. Excel will automatically insert the split data in the column or columns if more than one next to the original column unless we explicitly say otherwise. Therefore, there is a risk that we could accidentally override the values in the sold column. I'll discuss this more in a moment. I'm working in the Excel desktop app, therefore to split my column, I highlight the column. Then I go to the data tab. Then click on text to columns. In the pop-up box, I will leave the delimited Option selected. A delimiter is just a letter, a character or a symbol. I will be using the dash between the product and colour to determine the point at which the column should be split. I click next. In step two, in the delimiter section, I have a number of options which I could choose. The default is the tab, but equally I could select the semicolon, the comma, space, or in my case, I require the other box, so I check the box, remove the tick from the tab box, and in the box next to others, I just put in my dash. In the data preview box, I can see a preview of my data after the split. I now click next. As I have previously set up my new column to take the colour, I can just press finish. The product column has been effectively overridden as it now only contains the product name with our new column containing the name of the colour. Note that if I had not set up my new column to take the colour then in the text to columns wizard when I click finish I get a warning telling me there is already data in column B so do I want to replace it? If I press OK, my sold values disappear. So it's just one point to watch out for. And it's why I make a copy of my spreadsheet before splitting columns. In scenario two, I will insert the product and colour columns after the current sold column. To do this, it's similar as before. We click on the product column. Then in the data tab, we select text to columns, leave delimited selected, click next. Again, we are selecting the other and inputting the dash, then click next. Notice that in the column data format, we have the ability to select the data type, which was the case previously too. And then we have a section called destination. And here, if I clicked into destination and change this to C1, then click finish. 
This time our split columns appear after our sold column. There are limitations to using this text to columns shortcut. For example, what happens if in our product column we have an item which has more than one dash? For example, here we have t-shirt dash blue. Here I would be looking to do the split at the dash before the colour name. I follow the same procedure as previously. But when we get to step two, you can see in the data preview the results if I continue with this split. Here I would have shirt appearing in the colour column and that is not what I'm looking to do. In this case, I would need to use text split or some other function to split the text or consider using Power Query. These ideas are not covered in this video. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button. And if you'd like to hear more data tips from me, please click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.